They're coming right at us. Last time on True Magnum TV. I think the cows want to come up here more than the bull. Yeah. Well, I think we will have no problem getting one in a muzzleloader range if we can find a legal bull. <laughs> Crazy. In the excitement of hunting a breathtaking area and having fun calling in caribou after caribou, the men realize they have overstayed their welcome. Started out a little slow, starting to find all the sign. Now all he needs a big old buck. This is a pretty good size up there. You can see the tracks. Hunting season has begun. And these men will put it all on the line for the hunts of a lifetime. This is True Magnum TV. Just hit the 7,000 foot mark. Perfect. <laughs> That's the end of the caribou country right there, huh? Yeah, I think it was behind us a little bit, actually. You see what else is behind us? Yep. Yeah, we're gonna get pounded. Yeah. All right, let's go get beat up. Yeah. Certainly not a lot of mountain left here. In British Columbia, the men prepared for a day hunt and are ill-equipped to spend the night out in a blizzard. If they can't make camp, they must at least make tree line in order to build a fire. In this part of the world, tree line is about 4,500 foot. We're at 7,000. We've got a long ways to go. Not a lot of time to get there. Our visibility is rapidly dwindling to zero. There's a real good chance that we're just gonna walk up and get it stuck on top of a four-foot cliff that we can't get our horses through. Up in this country, there are hardships and obstacles that you run into, but there are real dangers too, and we, we know we're looking at one. Derek and I both know it. In the Baja, it's the final day of Bull Morgan's test hunt. If we don't kill a deer down here, it's not so good for our guys. It's not a, it's not a viable program. We, we haven't conducted a hunt. Um, so it's really important we get a deer killed. I'll, I'll shoot something that I probably you know, my, if I see a nice three by three heavy deer, you know, a little compact basket, I'll shoot it just to have a program. There's some success there. They have to feel success. And then we go on from there. On the last day, you know how it is, it gets down to the wire and you're like, you just want a nice buck, you know? Anything to come out and present an opportunity and out of nowhere, a stud. Oh, there's a boat in the way there. He's a nice one. 
Keep an eye on it, Eduardo. So I write that left of the cactus? In the brush? Yeah, in the brush, right there. He's coming to us. He's going to get a little to the right. Ah, I got him. I got him. You got it. True Magnum TV is proudly presented by Cooper Firearms of Montana, Hornady, accurate, deadly, dependable, Eberly Stock, Phone Scope, and Global Rescue. After a close call with weather in the high country, James and Derek decide to hunt in the lower elevations and watch for an opportunity to cross over the pass. My dad always taught me to take a roll of black tape to the mountains with you. About the second most handy thing next to duct tape. It blows off your barrel from the pressure. Bullet never touches it, so it doesn't affect anything. I always put a bunch around every barrel. That way I got plenty with me if it takes, you know, more than one shot or we're hunting long. All right, we're ready to go spike out after a moose. The cabin log says that uh, some people have found moose clear at the head of this valley. It's about a six hour ride from here. So, so that we can be close and hunt it, we're gonna go set up in the old timer spike camp and that'll put the head of that valley in range of us to hunt. Well, let's go make this happen. We're not finding the caribou. We're not finding the elk. We're not finding the moose. And this is as good a looking country for all those as I've ever seen or been in here. Um, yeah, we're scratching our heads and we're starting to put a few things together. Sometimes when hunters leave a valley, there's nothing to keep the wolves honest. Um, their scent's not here. Their bullets are not here. One thing about a wolf is, unlike us, they don't have a game department to answer to. Their, their harvests are not done with conservation in mind, it's done with survival in mind. So they can eat it out of valley pretty fast. Eat the easy stuff, move on to the next one. expect to see him too on any of those under any of those trees over there bedded paddles one was bedded here just like just like he's supposed to one thousand nine hundred miles away just when it looks like failure is an option. That's it. It's a nice one. Keep an eye on it, Eduardo. So I write that left of the cactus? Yes, left of the cactus. In the brush? Yeah, in the brush, right there. He's coming to us. He's going to get a little to the right. Ah, I got him. I got him. You got it.
He's down. He's down. He's down. <laughs> yeah. Good. Oh, <laughs> Good job, man. Whoa. Nice, huh, buddy? Here's this track. We know how big this buck is now, and look at how tiny this track is. It's a short little bullet and a small track. I'd have thought that was being a female or something. Just petite, little, small animals. I'd have, I'd have never thought that was a big old buck track. Yesterday we seen some and, and uh, I kept thinking, ah, it's gonna be a female and waited till we really saw a long one to think it was a male, but now we know exactly which one it is and it's got a small foot, really small. Feel Great good. day for our program, huh? Yeah, Hermanos for Canet. sure. Huh? Great day, nice, yeah. real nice. Real good program, so we have to figure Figure out how to be consistent doing yeah, nice then, hunts. Yeah, nice hunts, yeah. And it'll be a good program, but yeah. get a walk first and then. Yeah, we have a we have a steps to go in, but mm -hmm. let's do it. Well, we went up to Cooper and they uh, wanted to see what I wanted. Kind of started passing me guns and they had one on the shelf that uh, just fit the bill. Man liquor, um, model 54, which is a short action and a 338 Federal. Sure been a pleasure and a pleasure to carry, not so heavy. You drive conservation, so you should be rewarded. True Magnum's hardcore store has the gear tested by the true professionals in the field. And every purchase earns Magnum bucks, getting you closer to your next adventure. True Magnum, adventure lives here. Plan 762 is... We have one last ditch strategy for moose in this valley. We're gonna climb up high near a waterfall where we can see all the way from one end of the spruce to the other end in the only stretch, maybe about four miles of river where we've seen sign consistently. Not much, but a little. We think if we get up, we can look down into the trees and whatever's in there, surely we'll be able to see. We'll know if it's time to pack up or get serious about hunting a great big bull. some antlers on brush and then a grunt so here we go this is where it gets fun Looks like this bull probably has some cows because he grunted once and that was it. In 
wouldn't you know it, just about the time you give up and get back on the horse. So far, we've been finding the same bull, but we're just hoping that there's a bigger bull around. Maybe this little one that we found is not finding cows because a bigger bull is pushing them away from him. Derek's got a cow spotted, and this time of the year, there's a good bet there's a bull close by. Okay, I got him again, and then I see the bull, and I'm just hoping this is the herd bull that's been chasing off the satellite bull. It's not. Our satellite bull was looking for cows just like we were looking for cows. He found them before we found them, and now he's got the cows. Our satellite bull wasn't a satellite bull after all. He was the herd bull. Disappointing. It's disappointing to have just that one bull in the valley. Um, it's a legal bull. They say don't pass on the first day, which you would shoot on the last day. Meh, it's true. I wouldn't shoot him on the first day, and I'm not shooting him on the last day. It's nice where you're letting him grow up to be something, though. If the population's just coming back with him and a handful of cows, yeah. the beauty is it doesn't take long, right? Those ungulates, No. there'll be three more next year, and. 12 more the next year, and then you got a good population. More than one bull, a little competition. So that, that, that means something to you. Yeah, well, and if there was five of them like that in the valley, yeah. that'd be different too. Totally. I'm not shooting the last bull and left in the valley that we know. That's not prime, not old, hasn't had his thing and done his deal, you know? Yep. yep. We so shot the right goat, that's for sure. Oh, yes. Something's got to be here for repopulating these. He's not a stone mountain bull. Legal bull, but he's not a stone mountain bull. We got most of these M's covered, actually. Uh -huh. As far as we've been up here for that M, and we've covered this M, and no moose. Yeah, about that. I was. Uh... I was thinking, you know, it's kind of funny how everywhere there's an M, we come across a waterfall. Is that him? That's him. Oh, let's take him. What's the range? This could get interesting. Miraki. Bottom of my heart, I'm so happy to be helping involved in this. One of the only places I know where you can hunt on the beach. <laughs> <laughs>